Hello and welcome to the Gospel Gossip. My name is Luna Muna. And I'm Maya Ditz. Today we have guests all the way from Salem, Massachusetts to give us the scoop on the Salem Witch Trials. Now, let's welcome our first guest, Abigail Williams. Hi Abby, how are you today? Well, actually I... Yeah, that's great. Moving on. So a little birdie told us that you and some other girls were dancing with the devil. Care to explain? We were just sporting, that's all. It was... So you weren't calling the devil then? No, of course not. Well, we have some footage of you dancing, sent in by Reverend Paris. Shall we play it? What footage? No, don't! This footage. Show the video! But I ain't promiscuous, and if you were suspicious, all that is fictitious. That was some water, rock, rock, and maybe we lying down the line. What a guy, so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very interesting. Anyways, let's welcome our next guest, John Proctor. So John, we heard you were due to be hanged later today. What do you have to say about that? I will not confess to a crime that I didn't commit. And for that, I will be hung. Speaking of crimes, you have also been accused of lechery. Is this true? Yes. I committed adultery. I had an affair with Abigail Williams. Yikes. Yikes. We will be back to talk to Mary Warren after the break. Are you or a loved one moderately stupid? Do you wish you had the superpower of knowledge? Well, we have a solution for you. <gasps> Books! As long as you know how to read, you too can slowly but surely become less stupid. All you have to do is pick up a book and use your telepathic learning ability called <gasps> reading. That's, That's right, reading. reading. You must at least know how to read to be able to gain the superpower of knowledge to the magical Get a book today from your local, well, anywhere! Welcome back. Let's bring our next guest from Salem, Mary Warren. Mary, rumor has it that you've confessed to lying about seeing spirits, as have the other girls that have testified against the accused. Soon after you confessed, you took it back, claiming John Proctor forced you to confess. Did John really send his spirit on you, or were you lying? I'd rather not send me. Well, can you tell us if you really saw spirits? Did they really appear and attack you and the other girls? Do you know that John will hang later today? I do know that. Did you lie and blame John Proctor to save yourself from the rope? No, I wouldn't do that. Really? Because it seems like that was the only way to get yourself out of the situation. Leave me alone, Mary Warren! <laughs> Now we go to our reporter, Jackpot, live in Salem, Massachusetts. I'm here in Salem, Massachusetts, talking to the Deputy Governor, Thomas Danforth, about the hangings that are to take place today. So, Danforth, do you believe that the accused are actually guilty of witchcraft? Absolutely. They've done deals with the devil and don't want to admit it like the others have. So. Do you think death is a fair punishment for telling the truth? They will not hang for telling the truth. They will hang because they belong to the devil. He has a hold on them, and they no longer love God. So yes, I believe death is a fair punishment. We heard that John Proctor signed a confession, but then ripped it up. Do you know why he changed his mind? Oh, we were to hang his confession on the door of the church with the others, and he didn't want that. He didn't want us to take away his good name. Well, thank you for meeting with us today, Danforth. Back to you in the studio. That's all the time we have for today's show. Thank you all so much for watching. And we hope to see you next week on The Gospel Gossip. I don't know how this thing works. <laughs> Like you can't relax, you're trying to be cool You look like a fool to me Tell me why I'm the girl who make things so complicated I'm seeing the way you're acting like you're somebody else Get to be frustrated <laughs> I'm here in Salem, Massachusetts, talking